Hello Frasers, this is Brandon giving you a video about Synapse, our adjustment support tool. And this video is about some features that we've recently added that we're calling guidance options. But I'm gonna take a step back really quick here just to kind of explain why we're doing this. So a common complaint that we get is that you load up Synapse, you load in your data, you get to the screen to determine what your adjustments are and you just have all these dots staring you in the face and it feels overwhelming. What do I call it? I have this big range here. What am I gonna do? Um, here, let's zoom these out. Like I have this big range here from, you know, eight grand or nine grand up to 24 grand. Like what's the right number to choose? And it feels overwhelming because you have all these dots here and you don't even really care about these dots when you're trying to figure out GLA and it just kind of feels overwhelming. So. We've added some guidance options. These are gonna be turned on by default when we add this feature. And you can easily turn them off by clicking on guidance options. So I'm gonna turn on the first one just to show you. You can already see it here. So basically what we've done is we've made it so when you first get to this summary screen or the results screen, instead of having dozens or hundreds of dots just sitting there staring at you, feel maybe making you feel overwhelmed. You just have bars for each category of results. So we have a bar for regression, I have a bar for group data, paired sales, and so on. And it feels a little bit less overwhelming. But when you wanna go and actually analyze the results, you still see the actual mathematical results here, rather than having to just re rely on a bar, because you may have a whole bunch of dots on one end and a bunch of dots on the other end and nothing in the middle. And so you need to know if that's the case or if you have dots mostly in the middle and just one or two at the end. So we still show you the mathematical results, the dots when you're actually hovered on it. But this prevents you from feeling overwhelmed by having gobs and gobs of dots just there on the screen. Now, another common complaint is, okay, this is great. I, I love that you give me all these mathematical results, but what the heck I'm gonna do, am I gonna do with that? So I've got these results for garage space ranging from nearly five grand all the way up to above 20 grand. That's a big range. How do I know what to call it? So I'm not gonna tell you there's one way to use Synapse that's gonna give you the right method every time. That is not gonna exist. I don't think that'll ever exist. And that's why it's good that we have appraisers who hopefully have experience and know what they're doing to kind of help tease apart all this data to determine what the actual adjustment should be but we can give guidance that might help you. And so we've added some guidance options. Now, one of them already existed. It already exists in Synapse today and it's existed for over a year. And that is the error scores on Hover. So what that is, and you can click these question marks to kind of get a little example or a little explanation of what it is, but basically error scores, we let you visualize error scores by making dots bigger and smaller. So let me show you what that is. So here, you can see we have these big dots and we have small dots. Now, the bigger the dot, the better the error score. So you might wanna place more weight on dots that are bigger than dots that are smaller. Now, it's not an end-all be-all for sure. Uh, for example, here, it looks like I have a bigger dot here, but I place more weight up here when I did it. Now, I probably wouldn't actually call it that. I'd probably call it here, but, but anyways, you get the idea, hopefully. Just because it's the biggest dot doesn't mean it's the best one. It's just another indicator for you. It's something else that you can consider as you're deciding what the adjustment is. So if you care about seeing the error score, visualizing it with these large dots and small dots, then you just turn that on. It'll be turned on by default. And that may help you decide where you wanna place weight as you're deciding what the adjustment actually is. Just like you place weight on various comps for different reasons. You have different things that you might wanna weight differently. Error score may be one of those or one of many that you place weight on. Or it might, or you might not like it at all and you might just wanna turn it off. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you, it's a new feature, is what we're calling the density map or heat map. So I can click there, turn it on, and now you see that you have this heat map of where results are. So one other thing that you may wanna consider as you're determining what the adjustment is, in addition to something like error score, is where are the results clustered? So I have most results lining up right around this eight to $10,000 area for a garage bay. And so this is just telling me with the bright red, it's telling me that's where the density is. That's where the big cluster of results is. And so you might wanna consider placing more weight on this area. Now, in my case, I am. I am gonna call this $10,000 for a garage bay. And that is right where things are clustered up 
Um, I could also go down to eight and still feel really comfortable with that. I could then go and test it in my grid and see which one is the right one to use. Is it eight or is it 10? And you can also, of course, always, I would recommend, don't just trust heat maps, don't trust error scores, don't trust whatever. You can just go and if I decide, you know what, it, even though I have less heat here or less clustering of results here, this actually is the right adjustment. I'm gonna call it $20,000. That may be right, but you can know because you can go and test that in your grid or test it in a few grids in um, appraisals you've done in that area and see if $20,000 makes sense. If it's making your comps all adjust closer together, then the odds are that that's a good adjustment to use versus another adjustment which makes them adjust further apart. Okay, so I think that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. We have these different guidance options here. They're going to all be turned on when we release this, but if you don't like any of them, you can just go turn off and on the ones that you do or do not like. So for example, now I just turned off the error score. So now as I hover, I only see the small dots. I do not see any big dots there because I've turned that off. Okay, and then last, we are going to be releasing more guidance options in the near future here. I won't get into what those are yet, but look for those in the coming months here. All right, thanks everybody for watching.